More than a thousand Tulsans will go to sleep in shelters, tents or on sidewalks as they battle homelessness. But recently one man in particular captured the hearts of hundreds in the community. Two News Oklahoma's Katie Kelleher sharing that man's journey. And Katie, you got a chance to sit down with a police officer and the chaplain who really went above and beyond for him. I did, Karen. Chaplain Jerry Paquette and Officer Justin Vernon met just a few months ago. And it was all because of that one man living along Riverside who stood out to both of them. We've been asked to keep his identity identity private, so we'll call him John. Chaplain Jerry Paquette has been serving the Riverside Corridor for about two years, ministering to the homeless and giving them supplies. That's where he met John. And there's a lot of reasons for homelessness, but they're not loners. He is completely, he was completely alone. I never in a year and a half seen him speak to anyone, be around anyone, uh, and it just kind of drew me to him. He wasn't the only one drawn to him. A post on the next door app was asking if anyone else knew John. Paquette saw it and commented some details about John. And there were uh, over 600 reactions or responses and people offering food and clothes and shoes. And one of those people responding, Tulsa Police Officer Justin Vernon. He's part of the Bike River Patrol Unit, which focuses on helping those living on the streets around Riverside, Turkey Mountain, and nearby areas. He also saw something different in John. It wasn't anybody that stuck out to us as one of our um, homeless individuals that is experiencing like drug addiction or anything like that. Officer Vernon says John had a mental illness. He spent months getting to know him and gaining John's trust. But anybody that has any sort of mental illness, we take a lot of precautions with because you never know what's going through their mind. You have to build up rapport with them and gather his trust or their trust to be able to get them the help that they need. Eventually, John said he was ready for help. Officer Vernon drove John himself to Family and Children's Services. But their story doesn't stop there. That next door post didn't just connect Officer Vernon and Chaplain Paquette. Someone else commented, saying they knew John's family. Paquette reached out to them, and soon, John reunited with his family. It had been years since they'd seen him. Now John has a support network, which is vital for recovery. It's the same thing with any adult that's suffering with mental illness. It's not just a, here's medicine. They've got a trial and error, many types of medicine see if anything works, but he has to have the support from family, and that's anybody. If you don't have support from family or friends, you're just going to be back right into the same spot. And for Paquette, he wants to thank Officer Vernon and those in his unit for his continued support of John and never stopping his service, even after he's off the clock. I, I had texted Officer Vernon to contract contact him uh, because he was panicking and he was texting me, can you ask Officer Vernon to contact me. And of course he did. He goes above and beyond. And uh, it's just a great unit that, and service that they do. Well, if you're looking for ways to help those experiencing homelessness, both men say it's always good to donate a hot meal or clothing items, especially socks. And that kind of dedication really makes a difference. So glad they could help them. Thanks, Katie.